Does that make sense? I mean, this is. So what? What you call dating, you would be totally fine with someone because you, when you say dating, you mean exclusive. Right. right. You would be fine for other people to say dating as get to know you. Right. And so you would understand that y'all are on two different levels, two different pages, right. mm -hmm. and you would be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That, I mean, that's fair. That's confusing. But it, it's fair yeah. because if you're. I, 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 I'm glad that like you are aware enough to not hold them to that same standard because that would be unfair to me saying we need to be exclusive but we're just dating. I would be in a really confused state if, if we were seeing each other and we were exclusively dating each other but we're not in a relationship and I can't have any expectations or priorities or become a priority for you. But I gotta sit around on Friday and Saturday if you're not available I can't see nobody because these- But, but that's not what he's saying because he's saying he's not expecting the other Person I'm to talking just about be dating. exclusive. Oh, I, I thought he said it's exclusive. I thought if you're dating someone, it's exclusive. No, I was just talking him. about to me. So he's talking about dating. I understand. Those are my definitions of getting but, to know you, but, dating, but, and is a relationship. Is it wrong to set expectations when you're trying to get to know somebody? Yeah, like, absolutely. I mean, too early. Okay. Well, let me say too early. I think that regardless if we want to say it or not, we all have expectations of the person that we are going out on a date with or okay. whatever it is. I expect you to show up. I expect you to give me your attention. I expect you to give me your energy. But we all have that expectations. That. And if you don't have the expectations I mean, of the person, why are you wasting you your time? It's not about wasting your time. I don't have expectations because people are going to be who they're going to be. Mm -hmm. Like the reason why you may have been disappointed when you went on that date yeah. is because you expected the person to be a certain way. Mm -hmm. Had I, had had I gone down, on that date yeah. and he did that, it would have just been like, okay. But, well, and that, but he has those he expectations. In my life. They failed the expectations and now he yeah. don't want to see them. And that's what, yeah. so we, he has that's what getting to know somebody is about. That's why I wanted to meet yeah. him in person to talk to him face to face to see what he had, what he wanted in his relation, what he expected, and the same thing, vice versa. When I find out that you're not that person, it's done. But at the same time, I set expectations for any relationship in my life where there is work, friendships, family. You gotta have expectations. Mm -hmm. Like you can't. That if you don't, then you allow people to treat you any kind of way. That's so, not true. so, so, yeah. I, I, I agree with that. But my next question is: So, what is the this is a fine line? So when people don't meet your expectations, are you always just so quick to write them off or are you no. open to kind of further getting to understand this person understand and, and kind of redefine your expectations? Well, I redefine them and sometimes people don't know what your expectations are. Like far as like the way I want to be treated, the way I want to be talked to. Like it's certain things that I will shut down in the beginning. Like if I feel like we getting there and I just explain to them like, yo, if we're going to be cool, we can't, you know what I'm saying, go there. I might talk to a homeboy that way, but I'm never gonna talk to you this way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we can't set these expectations well, yeah. in the beginning. I don't tell people what you can and can't do. I just pay attention no, to how but you treat right. me. But you and have to I govern right. myself accordingly. Okay. Like, so that's why I say I don't have expectations. Like, you're gonna treat me how you're gonna treat me. If I give you a list of rules, you can easily adapt to that and that not but be who you know, are. Then how do they know that what they're doing is wrong? Like, I mean, that might be who they someone, are. Like, I'm a very aggressive person, and some people think that my aggressiveness is like when it's really just passion. And they might be like, I don't but like the way you're talking you to me. But me letting you know that I don't like the way you talk to me is not saying don't talk to me that way. But I ain't say that I would say don't talk to me. I you let the person let know the way know I. That but that's the way that I don't want to be talked to. If you feel like you still got to do that, then we ain't gonna rock. Yeah, what's wrong? What's wrong with that? Like what? Right. I mean, at this point, we could probably just shut up and let them go at it. You see how how tense they got? Right. I'm, I'm sensing some sort of chemistry there. Some sort of tension. I don't know what kind of tension that is, but I'm interested in finding out. <laughs> like, because I, I believe, and I believe what you're saying is, you teach people how to treat you, right? Mm -hmm. And so some people can treat you in a certain way with no ill intent. Right. What's wrong with just co correcting their behavior and how they treat you? Versus you just observing, not saying anything, and kind of like checking off a box saying, nope, that ain't good for me or that ain't I mean, you can correct them. I said that, I just said that. Mm -hmm. You can correct the way that someone treats you, but when you talk about the whole expectation thing of this is how I'm supposed to be treated, for me, it's just, I don't allow certain things to happen to me. And when they happen, I just back out of it. Is that not an expectation? No, no, not tell the person that you didn't like it. If they didn't know he, that, that he, was he a, saying that he tells He said he just yeah. backed out of you're it. Saying, what, what, what but I'm I hearing allow is, you to show me who you are. Right. And, and so you're saying you don't come yourself. to the table with a list like, 
this, if you're gonna be with me, this is what I need. You let it organically unfold. Right, we organically get to know each other and we see what develops. You know, folks these days, I think, are so enamored with the thought and idea of being in a relationship, but they don't understand the work that, put, that must mm -hmm. be put into making a relationship successful, and they don't want to do the work. They don't realize how much work, and they don't want to put in that, put forth that effort. And I think a lot of times they think when the work comes, that means they're not supposed to be together because everything is supposed to be harmonious all the time. Mm -hmm. But that is not the case. It's when the work starts is when the relationship truly comes together. And, and, and I think that, that that's that should be, I agree with that method to dating because, and I, because, Needless to say, if you respect yourself, you are going to demand respect from people. Exactly. But if you go in without expectation, suspending all judgment, you just allow that person to be, you allow yourself to be, you right. see what naturally gels. And that's but, why I'm so big on the getting to know you phase. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll get to know someone for up to, like, over a year before we even say, like, you know, I like the way this is going. How long have you been single, bro? A long time. Exactly. Why, are you, why, why, why are you single? Child, probably because we're having this conversation and y'all see how oh, what? No, you, I confused my mind is. Um, <laughs> I think I'm single because I have very traditional values. Like what? Um, just in terms of dating and taking your time and really getting to know people and not telling people who they have to be to be with me. Like I organically like to find people that I mesh with. Mm -hmm. And you, you just go from there. But, but it's hard to do to because you, you do. I don't, I've, I've not mistreated. I've never been mistreated because mm -hmm. I carry myself with a certain level right. of respect. So why do you think you're single? Because I take my time and I just haven't found the person who I want to take it there with. Like, I know great guys, mm -hmm. I do. But there are certain things that when we're getting to know each other, I start to see things and it's like, we talk about it. Having expectations is a natural part of life. We have them in respect to ourselves, our family members, and our partners. However, when our expectations become unattainable mm -hmm. to the average person, that's when we get into this muddy waters and, and, and you set your partner up for failure before they even have the chance to kind of prove themselves or even attempt to meet your expectations. Mm -hmm. Now, I will ask you this. Do you live up to your own expectations? Are you embodying everything that's on your list that you expect out of another partner? If not, you need to revise. You need to start <laughs> crossing things off of that list. That was, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> Can you take a week <laughs> to get to know someone and, and feel like you want to? Because when we met, no. like we met, the next day, like we were no, so together. Like he said, you have to observe people in different settings. And that doesn't don't, happen in a week. Do you so not feel like you can uh, you can still commit to someone while getting to know? Like you know, or you know, like that passion or deep in your heart of hearts, this is the one. No, I don't know every part of you, and but I'm looking forward to getting to know, but I know you're the one. Still. You're never gonna finish getting to know a person. Right, so right. Never gonna people finish. change. So do, right. do you think that that's possible? So like day one, boom, love at first sight or attraction at first sight, mm -hmm. do you believe in that? And being attracted to someone at first sight? Or no, no, like, like I, I met you today and I know I wanna be with you. No. No. So let me, let me ask you this, what are you... No, 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 no. What, are, what is it that you fear? Because I need to pull that, that face value. What, if what, I see, what do you fear? What do you fear? What do you what, mean, let's you know? say you give somebody your heart after two months. Why, why not? Why it, does it have to take... Why do you need eight more months or however more long to... <laughs> see? To prove that you know that person. Like, that what are you afraid of? my sentiment. Like, girl. <laughs> no, it's... I'm not saying that there is a certain amount of time. I'm not afraid of anything. It's just, and it's crazy that y'all think like that because someone wants to take their time, they're afraid of something. No, no, no. I That's not it. This There's no fear. I honestly let me let me tell you why like I like to get to know someone because I feel like when we go on dates, like when we go, when you go out to dinner, when you first meet a person, like 
a lot of times people come with all these questions. And to me, it's an interview. Mm -hmm. And I feel like for the first month or so, you're only getting a representative. If you come with all of these questions, like if I sat right here and I said, well, what's your five-year plan? If you think that I, want, I would be impressed by a certain list, you could provide See, that to the, me. There's no difference between me and some people. I don't give a representative. I exactly. And that's what I was going to say. Like, if you, if, 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 because we hear that all the time. The representative, the representative. Right. Hold on. If everyone knows that, why are individuals not making that change? It starts with you. Why, why, do I you do. show your representative? No. So, so you're the you only know, one? Right. Like, no, you know what I'm he saying? Said that he he said, either. okay, so then why are you still using that narrative to describe everyone because, in the dating scene? Because I'm telling you what my experience is with the majority of people here in the dating scene. Because truth be told, there are a, a, there's a small amount of individuals who operate on their own wavelength. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do what is popular. There's a lot of people who live above their means for other people. There's a lot of people who date certain ways or they do certain things because of other people. They're not genuine people. Are those the people that you're attracting? Your dates? Those are the ones Sometimes you keep it's meeting? the people I'm attracted to, yes, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily know that I'm attracting them. Yeah, I know I'm attracted to some that If you're attracted person. to them, you are attracting them as well. So I'm trying not to be too hard on Broadney, but I feel like Broadney is, is not being completely uh, honest. And I don't even know what's the situation of him not being honest, but I feel like he's living in the gray a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that is kind of distorting um, his view on dating and relationships. And that's why I'm continuously trying to poke at him, poke at him, because I really want him to really sound, even hear himself to see that he's really not being clear in what he's answering. You're, you're sending out some, yeah, yeah, that's, that's not true. That's a reflection. Yes, so no, because sometimes I just have crushes on people, and you know, we talk about this. I yeah. Do you tell them when you have a crush on them? No, I do not. Why? I sit back, because I sit back and watch. I sit back and watch you. They like, tell you when you crush them up until they do something to turn you off? They could, yeah. And then I try and see, like, is this really who they so are? Or, but how do you know um, how they really are if you don't talk to them? And I talk to them, I just they just don't know that I have a crush on them. Because I'm doing what? Getting to know them. So once well, you, you get to so they could be not even knowing they're getting to you know you, right? Yes, like they're getting to know other. each other. What but, you mean, like people, so when you're getting to know each other, y'all are getting to know each other. Like, but shouldn't y'all both know that that's what y'all doing? What getting to know each other? That's what we're doing. If we meet and we don't know each other and we continue to act, like, yeah, continue but is, to it, is it with the intent of that? liking right. each other? I think oh, that no, I think that, that this is probably one of the biggest no, problems with dating. Is, is hold up, it's because there's so much gray area. Like I feel like there's a fear I of saying know. I like you and I want to get to know you versus. I just, yeah. I got a question, I'm not going to tell him, yeah. I'm going to just see how he acts. Exactly. Is that what you would do too? That's a big problem I know now in our generation particularly, is that we have a great area between, you know, finding out what the actual definition of what we're doing is. Like, like we I, my, my, my friend, are we talking? Are mm -hmm. we dating? Are we going to know each other? Like, but that see, means so I'm... many different things right. nowadays. Is it and because they're sleeping with the people? Actually, yeah. in my opinion, yes, yes, sex and that's my problem. Sex See, when you start off people. sleeping with somebody, and then you, Actually, you wait, let me finish the people people thought. Don't. I mean, yeah, I know a lot of people. Who I don't, don't understand why I mean, you just can't say the like sexual it, attraction is, because I don't can know be there. You I'm do kidding. know. I like what I know about you no. thus far. If what I, is wrong? Okay, so no, because no, that's vulnerable to do. No, and a lot of y'all gay boys don't know how to be vulnerable. I, I like your ass. Let's see where it's going to go. Tomorrow, look at you. I like you and I like your ass. So I don't understand why people just can't say, I like your ass. I like you, I like you. I really think that in the case with Rodney, in the case of a lot of us who can't just walk up to somebody and say, I like you, it really is to me is an insecurity. Rodney even said it's a fear of rejection. I have to give you this amount of time to see what you're like. I really think it's all rooted in insecurity. And a lot of us sit on one end of the room, on the next end of the room, we liking each other, never say anything because we're so afraid of rejection. But a lot of times we're missing out on relationships. I mean, it's a... Sometimes you just like to be chased. I like to be pursued. You know, so I'm not gonna go say I like your ass. I want you to come say you like mine. And what happens when nobody comes to anybody? Then you just missed out on this ass. So, once I knew that this person was lying, I looked at him from a different, like, I was like, why would you lie about something so big? And like, and then 
manipulate me into thinking that this is really happening. That's way deeper than a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because he would have conversations right. in the car, and I'd be like, who was you oh, talking to? Lord. Oh, that was my son. You How long has this been going on? How long were y'all in a relationship? We were in a relationship for six years, and then like- Damn! The, huh? the, Where did you find out he had no son? It took three years. Well, they never actually. And y'all can only to... take a year to get to know somebody. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> digging into it. Yeah, right, look, look, we look, digging look, into it. My happen. reason for staying with the person plan. was because I thought that love could change them. I thought that, mm. but you grow and you learn. So that you, you found out somebody that he was lying and you stayed with him. I stayed with him and I just got be you. like, look, man, you ain't got to lie about right, that stuff. Right. Like, I don't know what you've been through, like. But you could be honest with me, mm -hmm. like, let's keep it 100. That is, that was very big of you because you was able not to take it personal. Mm -hmm. You know, it had anything to do with you. Me because his friends who knew him before me thought this lie too. We would be at, you know, dinner right. with friends and they'd be like, how your son? And he would lie. And I would just put Oh, so he head. wasn't just lying to you. Oh, right. Like, he had this imaginary right. son. Yes, yes. Oh, he was a And I would put my head down because I had to ride for him. I couldn't oh, come knew. out and tell. But I'd just be like. Mm -hmm. Did you ask him why he made that up? I would want to know. Um, I asked him, but he never, it never would be, like, he never wanted to tell the truth about it. It would always be an argument or another situation that was brought up to deflect the attention mm -hmm. from what I was asking him, you know, the questions about. So, like, I was, you know, I shouldn't have stayed in a relationship when I seen these things, but me being young and not really knowing, I just thought that I could change that person. What attracted you to him? Um, their business mind savvy, they was like, they were the president of a bank. They knew how to handle things. I was coming from Cleveland. I was had a more thug edge. Like I didn't know how to handle business how they did. Like if if I had a problem on the phone or something, I'd be like, "Look, y'all better put my money back in there." He'd get on. He'd be like, and talk so proper and be like, right. "This is how you talk to people." And he just showed me so many different things. Like he would take me to different restaurants and like show me that anybody could be talked to. He showed me a different life. You know what right. I'm saying? And it was kind of where I've always wanted to be. So. He showed me things that I always wanted, you know what I mean? So what was that inner dialogue? Like once you found out the lie, once you realized who he was, mm -hmm. a liar, yeah. what was the in inner dialogue that you told yourself to stay in a relationship for however many years you did after figuring that out? Well, I'm not gonna put it all on him. I think part of the reason why I stayed in a relationship because I was comfortable. Like I was living a better life, I was right. like, living in a nice apartment, driving BMWs. I was comfortable with that, and that was one part of it. Another part is I thought that maybe if he seen who I was, that he would change for me. And I would always, the dialogue would be like, you don't got a lot of me, like, I'm, I'm here for you. Like, let's just ride out together. Like, I ain't gonna tell none of your friends or nothing like that, mm -hmm. just keep it 100 with me. And they just could never, you know, keep it 100. So mm -hmm. what made you ultimately say, you know, this ain't working? Um, pretty much. You know, once I realized that they wasn't gonna change, like it was like it took me a long time to realize that though. Like, you know what? Like, I'm in this situation. I'm trying to be there for a person that this has nothing to do with me for a while. I blame myself. Like, maybe I wasn't doing something right. The fear of rejection is powerful. Mm -hmm. It's it's oftentimes it it can paralyze someone in the moment when you're at a party or at a club, you will not go and make advances to people because you don't want to be rejected. And I think it, it, it says so much, that rejection says so much about how you feel about mm -hmm. yourself, how you process that rejection. Like, am I ugly? Do you mm -hmm. not want blah, 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 All these things start to come into question. So I, I just think that it's natural though too. It is natural. I also think that it's, it's very understandable because uh, you know, as black gay men, we grew up being rejected most of our lives. Mm -hmm. And so that transfers into adulthood. But I think you must understand where the root of that rejection comes from and realize it's not just about the person not liking you or wanting to go out on a date with you, but it really is a deeper issue. Are you looking for love? Uh, I learned not to look for it, mm -hmm. just to let it come, you know. So you're open to love? I'm open to love. Are you open to love? Yes. Are you blocking love? Godspeed. No. Are y'all attracted to each other? Uh, I think he's attractive, but I'm, you know. Let me wait to put him on the spot, one, jeez. <laughs> I'm like, that's one to know. Uh, you know, know they say like opposites attract, so I mean, I just wanted to know. <laughs> are y'all on, on Jacked? No, 
I, you and Jack? If I find some Jack on somebody's phone, I instantly don't want to talk to him. Why? Why? Because, like, my experience, I, I got the app before just to see what was going on. I thought that I could navigate who I am as a person in the midst of all these other people that's looking for sex. Mm -hmm. It's just too much. And you I just don't feel good being on Jack. Like, after afterwards, I feel like, why am I doing this? Do you have like, judgments of people that are on Jack? Clearly. Yeah, um, what are those judgments? I feel like they probably promiscuous. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or they, I just, that's just my That's a story judgment. too though, right? No. That you're making up? You don't know that. I don't know it, but I just feel like if you putting yourself out there, I, sexually, I think that I shouldn't give myself to anybody. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody doesn't feel that way, we all have a past. We all have had sex with people, but when you out seeking it and like willing to sleep with anybody that you find attractive, I'm not attracted to that. So well, you look at those as just purely sex hookup. I think but Jack see, is pretty much for sex. I didn't you know use it for people, you, See, but you got people like you on whom, but you know this pretty much used for but sex. But you're only going to, I mean, you're going to get the attention that you seek on them. No, that's not people, true. Yes, it people is. People are going to, they, they may be, and you don't have to talk to everybody on yeah, there. Yeah, but when they but you, you may, up, you but you were on it, right? You were on there. Yeah, and everybody, they were so what if someone said that's about you? I was on there and I realized that it wasn't a place for me. No, but what if someone? You were, but you were hooking up with people on there, and that's the reason. No, I didn't hook up with. Oh, people. no. But what I'm <laughs> saying is, well, I'm saying because he was like, he asked like, why, why am I doing this? But that's the so reason. I, like, I know your question. No, why don't you give other people the benefit of the doubt that you give yourself? Well, but, I tried to be on Jack, and when I seen that the majority that's of the not people, the question. I, the question I did is, give the people but, the benefit. No, that's the my question I was is, on there. So I you thought were that on I could it. find somebody else on there that was like me. But the majority of people that was hitting me up was just wanted sex. And they would portray like they wanted something else, but they would put the sex first. Because I'm not that person, and I don't want to have sex with you before we have a date or get to know someone, I felt like it wasn't a platform for me, so I removed myself mm -hmm. from it. Right, but so, so, but you had it. So you said, you started the conversation with, if I see the app on someone's phone, I'm immediately turned yeah, off. Nah. But why not give them the benefit of the doubt? Because at one point, they could have saw it on your phone. Because you had it. Yeah. So why not give them that same benefit of the doubt? And perhaps they're not just on there just to fuck. Because you don't need Jack for that. Instagram, people hit you up. Facebook, mm -hmm. people. Social media, social media, regardless of what the app is called. Don't worry about these people out here. Like, you'll never meet you. the people you're trying to impress. Right. Mm -hmm. Ever. And if you do... Mm, that's a good one. You'll never meet the people you're trying to impress. And even when that's you really do, like but that. even when you do meet them... They the don't look like what they, they look. Exactly. They, 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 they never do. They don't, they don't look don't. like... And because <clears> if you have this expectation of them, most times they don't meet it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you guys know we always talk about self-love and, um, you know, and what that really means. And a lot of people have questions about what that really means. Mm -hmm. What does it really mean to love myself? For me, I really feels like, feel like loving yourself is being aware of who you are, all the positives and everything you may feel that's negative, being honest about those things, exploring why there are certain things about you that you may not like, and loving those things and being honest about them with yourself mm -hmm. and honest with other people. When you can do that and share all of yourself, you truly know that you are loving yourself. Absolutely. Only thing I will add to that list is to trust. Mm -hmm. Trust yourself. Trust yourself enough to know that you are walking in your purpose and your greatness mm -hmm. and everything that you engage in, the people who you interact with are, are all working for your good. Trust yourself. Trust others.